Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. This video will cover the creation of a Word 2016 for Apple Mac data entry form. What we're looking at here is a sample of some common fields, last name, first name, middle initial, etc. And below that is a suggested procedure that we will see as we actually create the form. So we're going to see how to create the data entry form from GoToWoe. I always find that the best way to start things off for a data entry form is to create a table. And all I did here was to go to the insert uh, button and then I chose a two column by seven row table, nice and easy, and then I simply typed into that uh, column, first column, the headings that I wanted for the data entry form. Now I need to just adjust that slightly, I'll drag that across so it looks a little better, and I can now begin to insert the fields that I want in the data entry table. To do that, I go to the developer tab where I will see a text box, checkbox, and combo box command. Now, what I suggest is to add a text box by clicking in the column where you want the text box and then simply click text box and do the same in the cells where you wish there to be text. Now, you'll notice that here the age is going to be a number so what I'm going to do is insert a text box uh, because I can use options shortly to uh, change that to a number type instead of text. The gender I want to use a combo box and when I click in the combo box the options available to me are to choose what I want in the drop down item. So I'm going to say male and I'll click the plus sign to add it to the combo box and female. And then I'll click plus for that and then I'll click OK. Now the date of birth, I'll add a text box, but what I'm going to do here is to go to the options and choose the type being a date and OK. The completed box I'm going to add a checkbox there so that will show me a little cross when I click in it shortly as we'll see. Remember the age uh, one, the options there I want to have a type of number because I want to type in an actual age. Now I can click OK. Now what I can do is to remove the shading if I wish and most importantly protect the form. So I'm going to click protect form. Now what I need to do is to save that particular file so that when I reopen it, it will open ready for me to enter data. So let's see how that works. I'm going to say File, Save As, and we'll say Personal Details, and I'm going to save it onto the desktop, and click Save. Now I'm going to close the file, and it's as if we have just now opened our, our Word, uh, Word uh, file, uh, our Word program, and here I see personal details. So let's click on personal details. There it is, we'll make it bigger. And now I can start entering data. So the first name will be, let's say, well, uh, sorry, the last name we'll say is Smith, tab, bill, tab, little initial, we'll say C, age, we'll say he's uh, 40, tab, Gender. He's a male, but if it was for a female, of course, I'd click the drop arrow 
and choose female. Date of birth will say January 1, 40, so he would have been born in 1976, uh, 1977, sorry, 1977. It's been completed, so now I can put a tick in there. Now, the next thing I need to do is to save that file. So I will click on the file save command, or save as if you like, either way, and we'll call this one Bill Smith. We'll save it to the desktop and click Save. I already have one on there called Bill Smith, so I'll replace it. And there we go. Now when I close uh, the file and go to reopen the file in Word, I'll see I have a Bill Smith docx and the personal details. So when I click on personal details to open the data entry form, I can enter another person. So this time we'll say it's um, Brown, Mary, middle initial, no middle initial, age, we'll say she's 30, tab, she's obviously a female, date of birth we'll say was February 1, and she's 30, so she would have been born in 1987. And completed? Yes. Now I would save that file as Mary Brown. So I now would have two files of data entry, one for Bill Smith, one for Mary Brown. But importantly, the data entry form, when reopened, will be uh, still blank and ready for me to to re uh, enter any further data. So I'd have three files, Bill Smith, Mary Brown, and the personal details file. The personal details file being the blank data entry form. So that's how you can create a data entry form in Word 2016 for Apple Mac. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.